West Warwick, Rhode Island native Tom Garrick helped lead URI to the Sweet 16, then played in the NBA for four years. What you don't know is one afternoon in 1986, fate played a role in how this storybook script played out. I almost quit basketball after my sophomore season. Just sitting in my dormitory thinking about how am I gonna go down to the coaching staff and their offices and tell them I'm not playing anymore. And as I'm walking in the front door, about four of my teammates are walking out and they said, man, you wouldn't believe it, coach just resigned. And I looked at that and I took it as a sign from the heaven above that maybe I was to give this another chance. With the arrival of head coach Tom Penders, Garrick's career took off. It was Coach Penders who bought out Tommy Garrick that we all know today. He basically challenged Tommy, told Tommy, I know what you can do. I know what you can be. You don't yet. I remember him saying, Tommy, if you just do what I'm asking and you do it every day and you do it with intensity and you do it with your passion, I'll make you a pro. And he walked away. Well, Tommy, at the very first, was a little bit doubtful because he really didn't know me. Coach, I'm averaging like 6.7 points a game, you know, over my two years here. That's a long way from being a pro. But if you think it'll make me better, I'll do it. I recognize in Tommy Garrick, a fantastic athlete who played hard every single day in practice, and he never had a bad day. He clearly took on the challenge of becoming a better basketball player, and he really worked at it. Probably one of the hardest working young men I've ever coached. He had to be motivated to be a little bit selfish. I remember being chastised for not shooting the ball enough, and if you're not gonna shoot it, you're no good to the team, so you can come sit next to me. Whenever he passed up an open shot against anybody, I'd take him out. If you want me to shoot that much, it's uncomfortable, but I will do it. And he was like, well, no, you're not doing it, so you're gonna sit next to me and I'll play somebody else. And that was enough. I was like, okay, I get it. I'm not sitting over here for much longer. His junior year, he just exploded. He just exploded. He came to score. We thought he would be. Senior year, he was unbelievable. He was third in the conference of scoring, 20 points a game. Silk Owens and Tommy Garrick both should have been Atlantic 10 first team. URI, other than Silk, was pretty much snubbed on that, and URI certainly had a chip on their shoulder about that. In my head and in my heart, I was like, I'm good, I know how good I am. I'm, I had a great year. But when Coach Penders comes to practice, it's like, that's an insult, and, da, 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 and we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm insulted. And then he told us, well, we're gonna get Tommy 50 tonight, and I'm telling you, he said that. Tommy got 50. In my head, that puts into me, oh, I'm gonna put on a show. And then my teammates just supported me in that. That 50 point game against Rutgers was amazing because Silk was the leader of our team. He was the guy who was giving me the ball the most. Tommy was on fire. You hear me? I mean, when I say on fire, he was on fire. I never seen that intensity on somebody like that. Don't mess with Chief. You don't, you, you don't give him a reason to kick your butt. We were giving the ball. He was giving the ball back to us. We were giving the ball to him. Shoot, take it, Chief, take it. And he just went off. Garrick went on to have an impressive NCAA tournament, while his father, who had lost his vision in World War II, captured the nation's attention. And two years after almost walking away from basketball, Garrick was selected in the NBA draft. Coach Penders and Tommy were, were like, that was Tommy's angel. I took it to heart. I did everything he asked me to do for two years and I became a pro and I thank him for that.